Or are you going to terrestrialize into a flying type? What? Earth Eater. What's up, YouTube? My name is Spade, and welcome back to Pokemon Showdown. Scarlet and Violet. Let's just jump right into it. I built this random team. Just wanted to use some things that I wanted to use. Including this mirror uh, Holucha. I'm mostly looking uh, towards uh, facing a Sea Titan that always uses Belly Drum. So whenever there's that Slow King combo with the Chili Reception, uh, I might, might be able to pull off some shenanigans. Otherwise this thing is kind of useless, because then you can't activate your Unburden, but that would be really cool. Anyways, I'm going to lead with the uh, Choice Scarf <laughs> Magneton, the Sandy Shocks. Oh, as he leads with the... Uh, th that's right, I'm not Steel-type. This is Electric and uh, Ground. But he probably has a move to hit me with, maybe. This is a Choice Scarf one. I could go for actually Earth Power. But it's the first turn, I'll, I'll set up the uh, Stealth Rock. Let's see how well that goes. I'm probably gonna go down to a uh, close combat still from this uh, Iron Hands Hariyama. But we shall see. I'm scarfed, so I'm gonna be locked into Stealth Rock anyway. Okay, but he switches out. Good. Predicting the Earth Power, most likely. Um, Muscarada. This thing, team that I have is not the bulkiest one. Definitely not. Um, I'm expecting him to go for a grass type move. I don't remember if Muscarada gets a fighting type move. Ooh, it gets spikes. Mm, I could also... Like, I gave this thing a ghost type, a terra, terra type. So, in case I go against a fighting type move. And it also should help against ground types, like Garchomp. You no, know, I might be able to live ahead. Let's try to pull off some shenanigans. Shall we? Go for Sword Dance. I also got Shadow Claw. I tried to put um, Knock Off on this thing. But apparently it's not available. So... I thought maybe I can use the uh, Terra type ghost to give me stab. Maybe I should do it right here. This thing is, <laughs> I think it's still too weak, but I still keep the stab even though I turn into a different type. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still not sure about the mechanics. I still get to keep Stab on Iron Head. And if I would Terra type into a, let's say, Dark type, then my Stab would be like, instead of 1.5 times, it would be 2 times. Whatever. Let, let's do this thing. There we go. 37. Ooh! Guard jump goes down. Man. Well, there is 810 attack behind it, but still, that is quite impressive. Um, I don't know if he's gonna go for spikes. Okay, that still did a good chunk. There we go. I mean, he is... Yeah, th that thing is a dark type, I kind of forgot about that. Uh, I could just go into Ditto and then... How fast is it? It's faster than a mouse hold. Do I have the... Oh wait, I can tidy up with... Mouse hold. That gets rid of hazards, right? But what I could do here is just go into Ditto. Transform into him and... Um, flower trick. This is why I love, I always love using Ditto at the beginning of every new generation, because then I get to learn what other people are using. But here I'm just going to U-turn, just to uh, knock him out. Let's go into Sandy Shocks. It's my other Choice Scarf Mon. But Ditto is great for learning. That's what I always do.
That thing is paranormal and poison. Poison! And now that the Garchomp is gone, like, yeah, that is great for uh, Sandy Shocks here. I should probably just... I wonder how bulky this thing is. I'm just Thunderbolt. Ooh, he potting shots. And he is faster. So, he's most likely... Oh, it's Prankster. It's not Scarfed at all. Should have gone for the uh, Vault Switch. Didn't realize. Everything is new. Like, I can hover over these abilities. I will not pay attention. I will not. I refuse. I got a... So, that thing gets... I'm using Grimmsnarl here. Which also has access to Potting Shot now in this generation. That is uh, really cool. Let's actually go into Grimmsnarl. This thing is oh, its more specially defensive though, so might not work. But he goes for Fake Out. I don't... I, I guess he still doesn't know that I'm Scarfed. That would make sense. So if I... I think I'm gonna Potting Shot out of here. There we go. Is Mirror... No, he has Pressure. Okay, so Mirror Armor will not interact here in any sort of way. Um, I can keep switching in the Sandy Shocks, and now I'll, I'll definitely go for the Vault Switch. But now that the Guard Jump is gone, I can definitely uh, do that. And he seems to be scared of this thing. So, there we go. A nice chunk of damage. Thunderbolt will definitely KO, although I need to watch out for the parting shot once again. Hmm. But if I go into Mouse Hold now, he's gonna go into Corviknights. No! I'm running out of time! <laughs> uh, it's hard, so hard to make these choices! Super Fang! I'm a, I'm a parting shot here because I don't want to get my uh, item knocked off. Hey, but Hawlucha, if Hawlucha gets his item knocked off, that's fine. So let's go into Hawlucha. It, it, it's not going to do anything in this match anyways because of the moveset that I, I, I got here. So let's go into Sandy Shocks here, although he could, I suppose. Okay, goes for Defog. That's fine. That is fine. And your Vault Switch. He goes into Hariyama, or whatever that thing is. Um, I'm gonna just go into Grimmsnarl. And I think I will potting shot. He's gonna fake out, that's fine. What am I going to go into as I'm running out of time? Maybe I could spirit, uh, let's do spirit break here. Well, of course he's gonna go into Corviknight. I could have kept momentum here, but... Eh, I'll Thunder Wave for the uh, shenanigans. There we go. As he U-turns. And then he's gonna do the fake out thing, probably. If I go into Ditto, let's go into Ditto actually, on the Fake Out. He's been going for Fake Out every single time. And he doesn't seem to be uh, changing his uh, plan. All these moves suck. <laughs> well, there we go. Drain Punch. And he goes into this thing. Okay, that's wor that works. I get rid of it. I don't know why he didn't go into Corbinite. All his moves are so weak. How strong is this Iron Hands Hariyama? I don't know if this thing gets like close combat or something. But that's good. I get rid of that annoying prankster mon. So there's two, at least two prankster potting shot mons in this uh, generation. 
So he's gonna go back into doing the fake out thing. I could go into. I'm gonna go into Horlucha. Then I'll CC. Corviknight is um, 68%. Uh, let's see. Horlucha is not the strongest mon, but from this range, um, maybe. There's a chance. Let's see. I do get the roll. Nice. It was in my favor to knock him out. In comes this thing. <laughs> Whatever this thing is. And whatever it does, acrobatics, I'm still, I, I think I'm going to CC here, as he terrestrializes. Okay. I think he was probably trying to bait out the um, flying type move, but this works. Um, and I suppose I can just go for Earth Power to finish off this game. There we go. Yeah, he can fake out. Not gonna be enough. He had, I think, Ice Punch and Thunder Punch. No Bullet Punch, not that it would matter. Wouldn't be enough to knock me out anyways. And that will be uh, the first game. I just wanna find out a Sea Titan. I think the Mirror Herb item is extremely uh, situational. But it could also be really fun, depending like what is going to be popular in, in this uh, meta game. But overall, on something like Harlucha, like I, I don't know if Harlucha is the best best user of this item, but I thought it would be quite interesting, especially with Belly Drum Sea Titan being pretty common. A lot of people are trying it out because then you can use the Mirror Herb and get rid of your item, get the Unburden, be faster, and be at plus six. That would be kind of a unique situation. Let's uh, lead with the Sandy Sharks. Lemora. On a balloon! Okay. Well, I cannot Earth Power you. Mm. I suppose I could Stealth Rock. Eh, it's fine. Energy Ball. Okay. I had... The first, I, I think the two Glimoras, no. No, that was the Dondoza, which is also a blue fat thing, but it's water type. Yeah, this is completely different. I have no idea what this thing does. Um, but I think I can go into Crimson All. As he goes for Terra Blast, but he doesn't even do the Terra thing. <laughs> okay, let's potting shot out of here. Lower his uh, special attack. And then... What do I want to go into? It's rock and poison. Poison? I think King Gambit, Gambit is fine. There we go. Let's actually uh, get a little bit greedy here. Kind of like with the uh, Garchomp, we might be able to pull up some shenanigans. Ooh, this is the um, final evolution of the uh, fire starter, the few Coco or whatever it is. But make it, maybe I can pull off some shenanigans here with the uh, King Gambit, Gambit here. I don't know, judging by this move pool, if there's anything that he has. Maybe there's a random Focus Blast. I wouldn't know. Should I terrestrialize? I think I should. Uh, let's, let's do it again. Okay. He doesn't even... Uh, Attack me with Earth Power. So that was kind of a wasted opportunity right there. Hmm. What what would he have? Let's play a little mind game here. <laughs> That's right. Huh. He will probably be able to knock me out if he goes for Sucker Punch. This plan kind of failed here. Is he going to do it again? I eh, might as well try it out. Ooh! 
I still live because King Gambit is like hella strong. And then what I could do is go into Holucha here. There we go. Go for a little uh, drain punch here. Oh yeah, this is a ghost type. So that's not gonna work. Uh, so he's got leftovers. Fire ghost type. I could try and use my Grim Snarl, which is kind of specially defensive. Goes for the Will O Wisp, that's fine. I'm potting a shot out of here. Or I could Thunder Wave. Ah, T Wave is always good for some uh, shenanigans. Torch Song. And he raises his special attack. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, it's potting shot out of here. Go back to neutral. What do I do against this thing? Hmm. It is actually kind of tough. I got two Pokemon with Thief. <laughs> I'll use King Gambit as a death fodder, maybe. Yeah, there we go. And then... Does he... I, I just hope he has a ghost type move. Let's see. Shadow Ball. There, ooh, he has Slack Off, and that also has five power points, just like the other recovery moves. He has King Gambit, but I'm plus one. So I, I think I'm gonna be fine. Rock Poison, let's see, plus one, hmm, there we go. Is this thing fast? And is this thing slow? I think the few Coco evolution is slow, whatever it is. Skeledurge. Oh, it is fast, okay, my bad. And now he's a rock type. Hmm. If I go into Holucha, if I go for a Thief... Uh, it's gonna be tough. Well, I can go into Magneton here. Spamming Earth Power... Looks like a fine idea. So let's do that. Baxcalibur. I can't really switch in anything. I don't have switch ins. So. Is he gonna be faster? Base speed 300. Yeah, I'm still gonna be faster, so. Ooh. I could go into Ditto. Except I, my Ditto is gone. <laughs> So, that is out of question. Um, he went for Dragon Claw, he probably has an Ice type move. Am I screwed here? No, because I got Grim Snarl with Thunder Wave. But I think this match is gonna end, end up badly for me, unless that happens. Um, just get a Spirit Break here. And he gets paralyzed again. Okay, that's good. That's good, because then... I mean, I can go for... Uh, the move. Potting shot. But I could also T-wave this... Uh, Palafin. Hmm. I mean, that would definitely help. If I T-wave... There we go. As he flip turns. <clears throat> he's gonna get his... Uh, he's gonna get his thing! But he has Will-O-Wisp and Slack off there in the back. I think I'm just gonna potting shot. Grimmsnarl is gonna be death fodder at this point. 
And I'll go into Hawlucha. Probably gonna get burned here. Or he actually just goes for Slack Off. Probably thinking I would have some sort of dark type move, but I do not. Thief is a 60 base power. I cannot steal an item though, <laughs> which is unfortunate, so. Oh dear. This is not gonna go really anywhere. Eh. It's trying to get a little bit of damage. It's not working though. Thief is doing so little. Eh. And he can slack it off. There we go. At least I got his lefties. Oh wait, I, I copied his torch song thing. That's right. Now I can do... Oh! Oh! He's getting paralyzed! I, I, I should use this opportunity to go into maybe the boss hold. As he gets paralyzed again. What if I go for... I cannot go for my awesome move. So I'm gonna go for tidy up. I get rid of all these hazards. And he gets paralyzed. I go for thief. I knock him out. Oh dear. Oh dear. In comes King Cambet. Ooh. Is Sucker Punch gonna be enough? Probably. I did shenanigans earlier, so I'm just go for my attack. Come on! Oh, really? The first time, I, for the first time I face mouse hold, I switch in my, <laughs> I switch in my Toxapex and I get hit ten times, and I'm like, what is this thing? Totally OP. I use it two hits. I lose. Um, do I go down to a sucker punch? Yeah. Well, there wasn't much I, I, I could have done there. I mean, uh, oh yeah, sucker punch. Does he have defiance? And I mess with him. Oh I, no, I can't because I can't use any any of these moves. So. <laughs> I cannot use any of my moves. Just finish me off. There we go. Could have gone for the... I don't know. I mean, there would have been a chance if the uh, Palafin would have been paralyzed a bunch of times, but I was burned, so my attack was cut in half, so... I don't really like this thing because I don't have, like, good defensive synergy uh, with this team, but... There would have been a chance with the mouse hold, but it just didn't work out. It has a, I think it's a 90% accurate move. It can hit up to 10 times, but it checks for accuracy every single time. So the first time I faced it, I got really unlucky. And now that I used it for the first time, I just got unlucky. So I don't know what's an average. What's the average hit time with that? When you got a 90% accurate move like that, it checks for the accuracy every time. But anyways, let's go with the good old Sandy Shocks here. We got another Glimora. There might be a chance for Horlucha against this Chien Pao that likes to Sword Stance. Revaroom. Hmm. And perhaps even against the uh, King Gambit. With a uh, all Lucha. Should I just go for Earth Power? Let's do it. It's four times super effective, so... <laughs> that thing was trouble last time, so... Let's get rid of it. Since we uh, ha have a chance here. I don't know if that thing is Scarfed. Like, the last one that we faced was kind of fast. But then again, the few Coco Evolution is slow. Even when Scarf Ditto transforms into it. King Gambit can defensively take this thing on, I think. There we go. It's a crit. Is this a move that crits every time? I'm paranoid. Um, I always like to SD with this thing, so I will. 
What do you have? Dark eyes. Does it get like close combat? I think it might. Let's do this thing. Eye shard. Huh? Whenever I try to be cool and transform into a different type, it just fails. I, I, I mean, this sucker punch, I, I suppose, is what he's thinking. I just don't know my calculations, like with sucker punch, knock out a chin pow from full health. Like, this is where it would have worked out great against this uh, Don fan here. I guess I'll go for the Shadow Claw. Ooh, he's got bulk up. Plus two still does a good chunk. But he probably will knock me out. I don't think there's any benefit going for the Sucker Punch. Especially if he's uh, bulking up, so... Oh, ground and fighting. I don't like any of my options here. I don't have good special attackers. I go into Sandy Shocks. I go for Earth Power, which is neutral damage. I don't think this thing is so specially defensive. Do I have to go into it? I think I kind of have to. I don't like it. But yeah, I will. 58, there we go, it's not that bulky. Now I could go into Ditto. If I block myself into a fighting type move, that could actually work. And he's got close combat. If I go for Earthquake, I'm a CC. I don't want him to go into Muscarada. Meowscarada. Although, I mean... Are you Scarfed? Are you? You are. Oh... I should have checked, because this thing is apparently, like, really fast. I know, like, this thing, the, the Donphan thing is not as slow as regular Donphan, but I, I definitely should have checked. Let's go into Grimmsnarl. Now that he's not a uh, dark type, I can do my prankster shenanigans. But I think Thunder Wave at this point is fine. Slow this thing down. There we go. And then... I think I'll potting shut out of here. Do you want to go into... Lucha or... Mouse hold. I think mouse hold is not going to be doing much in this this game. Against, especially against uh, King Gambit, and he happens to go for play rough. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll have to tidy up here. I'm just gonna hope he's gonna get paralyzed. He, there, there we go. Go for a... But how do I beat the King Gambit? I, I don't. Again. Again, the King Gambit. I cannot beat it. Unless I maybe hit 10 times. Reverum. Yeah, this thing is a Steel Type 2. So, cannot really... And I miss... <laughs> And it has shift gear. Okay, that is really cool. I'm not gonna bother with Thunder Wave or anything. Just whatever. It comes down to Grim Snarl and Steel types. It's it's never a really uh, a good matchup. Just waiting for that uh, Sea Titan. So far, nothing. I guess it's not as good as it was like a few days ago. Uh, Shandy Sharks. Let's go! Uh, 
And in comes the charcoal. Ooh, because the photosynthesis, I get a special attack boost. What do we have here? Well, I, I see no switches to uh, earth power. So let's go for it. <laughs> I got plus one. I like this. I did quite a bit to the Great Tusk too. And now I'm plus one, so... Hmm. I like it. It gets an attack boost. I mean, I, I just don't do well against this thing, so... Ooh! One shot! I mean, it did do a lot the last time, but you never know about the EV spreads of these things. Like, if it's max... HP might be able to live a plus one hit. I could terrestrialize, doesn't help me though. Are you scarfed? No? <laughs> this thing is not bulky, it's physically defensive, I know, but not specially. If I take out a freaking great tusk. Oh, jet punch in the sun. Oh. <laughs> oh my Arceus. Okay, you're you're fast. Um, so it's been ghost and fairy. I'm just gonna attack him. Okay, he should have gone into this thing in the first place. Ooh, and as soon as the sun is gone, so is the boost. That is that is really interesting. It's not staying. I wonder if it stacks with other boosts. Like if you go, if you happen to go for plus six with like agility. Plus six speed, and then you somebody brings out Torkoal to set up the sun. Would you still get a speed increase on top of all the speed you have? Does it stack? That is the question. Hmm. I think King Gambit is fine, but he's gone. Let us look for another match. <laughs> Joy Scarf Magneton putting in the work. Hey, is this another Don fan? Looks like it. But this is the futuristic Paradox Mon. Hmm. I mean, Sandy Shocks is looking pretty good. Free to spam Earth Power. Although my opponent could leave the uh, guard jump, definitely. But, like, I don't know. I don't know if it's a lead Garchomp with spikes. Garchomp also gets spikes. But let's just go for it. Why the heck not? Let's go with the uh, good old Sandy Shocks. It has been working out pretty well so far in these games. Here we go. Mm. It is the Garchomp. Would he just set up spikes? I mean, he could. I could get some good damage. Ah, I'm gonna do it. He's gonna set up spikes. 40%. Ah. Or rocks. I could potentially get rid of those hazards. Um, I have really no safe switch-ins. I go into my Edito to transform into him. Then go into Grimmsnarl. I don't know. I'm not liking this matchup. As he goes for spikes. Okay. <clears throat> I just hope I can bring out Mouse Hold to uh, get rid of those. And Flutter Main. Moonblast is his strongest move. I should definitely save this thing because it's good. <clears throat> no ground immunities on this team. Yeah, still double checking if something has some sort of random ability. Galate has sharpness now. What are you doing? Oh. Oh. That's cool. What if I go into Ditto? Do I also transform into his Terra type? That's gonna be interesting to find out. If I go into Mouse Hold, 
on a torch song. Can I take it? Because it's weak. No, it's still plus one. I'm gonna still do it. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyway. As he goes for slack off, that's good. Now we're gonna tidy up. There we go. This thing is slow. Yeah. And bulky. So let's do a little bit of spring cleaning here. Does it work against... Yeah, because it's kind of a boosting move, so it's not like affecting the opponent, so I can still do it. There we go. I do have Thief, but he's part fairy type. But he gets a, a speed boost. Yeah, he's gonna be faster. And he can Moonblast. I should probably just go into Ditto. Can Ditto copy that boost? I wonder. But he's gonna Moonblast. So can I go into Grimmsnarl? Although I would like to. I don't know. I'm gonna sack this thing. Okay. He goes for sub. That's good. Can I go for Trailblaze? I mean, that would have been stronger. Why didn't I go for that? Because then... I mean, I just think about ghost types and dark types. And I should have been thinking it's neutral against a fairy. So let's try this thing out. And I don't get the speed boost. But now it's uh, speed tie. Well, I'm gonna risk it. And I win. <laughs> that was not smart at all. But that is quite interesting. It doesn't count as a regular stat boost. I believe this thing gets a uh, sucker punch. There we go. Oh wait. Well, I got yeah. I, I cannot use Thunder Wave obviously because he's Dark type, immune to Prankster. But I can go for Spirit Break. That should do a good chunk. Eighty percent. Ooh. I mean, I can go into Ditto to maybe revenge kill him. This would have been a chance to go into uh, Holucha. He's gonna go for the ice type move. I'm probably going to go down, but I have no real switch ins. That is the issue. Sacred. Oh! And I live it. I mean, it's not stab. And it's kind of a weak move. Is it 90 base power? Has that changed? Iron Threads. And he's got the Quirk Drive boost. Because he's holding the booster energy. Well, I could parting shot out of here. Ground and Steel. I think I can go into... Uh, Holucha. As he goes for a rapid spin to get speed. Ooh! <laughs> that activates my ability! My trap card. And now I can go for close combat. <laughs> uh, at least I got a chance to use Mirror Herb. And now I can go for acrobatics. There we go! Holucha! Putting in the work! And I can thief this uh, Skeledurge. Oh my, Arceus. Does he have an item? Did we establish that? Yeah. Thanks. That was a... That was kind of a mistake. But, there we go. Okay, he has heavy duty boots. I just kind of wanted to find out what he has. That makes sense. Um, so... Well, I can go into King Gambit and transform into a ghost. And still go for a stab iron head. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I got a little bit of a mini sweep there with... Uh, Holucha there. I, 
I don't know if he was just trying to boost with the uh, sp boost his speed with the uh, rabbit spin. I don't know how fast the uh, future Don Fan is. Oh, there's no. I saw so many Sea Titans the first day. Now nobody's using it. There's a Jigglypuff. That that's interesting. Roaring Moon. Mm, that I could actually copy. Yeah. So let's keep that in mind. That's the Salamence. So it's most likely going to be Dragon Nest. Let's go with the Sandy Shocks here. Oh, yes. Um. Um. Where's your ground switch ins? This thing? Let's see. Oh, okay. This thing is bulky. Okay, I see. It. I see. It. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're not going to have a repeat of what happened earlier. But I think this is... This is like a mix of Jigglypuff and Hisui and Zoroark. That's what it looks like with the uh, long hair. What does this thing do? Does it have fire-type moves? Am I going to... King Gambit? If he goes for Dazzling Gleam, it doesn't do much, but the sun is up, so if he has a move like that, I'm going to check. Okay, Dazzling Gleam. And it's super effective, but still does not like nothing, so... Um, let's see, Wave. There we go. Keeps going for the Dazzling Gleam. Okay, that's fine. Kind of a waste of a Grim Snarl here. I think it's all right. That's good. Out of here. And then... Hmm. Should I try and go into mouse hold? I think I should probably just go back into King Gambit. Yeah. And now he's doing less. What is he going to go into, if anything? Ah, I'm a sword dance. And he's paralyzed. Okay. Let's get another boost so I can beat the um, Torkoal in one hit. Oh, no! Now I cannot beat the Torkoal in one hit. But I can Iron Head. There we go. So this thing is bulky. That should open up. That's going to help the Sandy Shocks, definitely. So it's not a waste. Kind of a waste. I think the... Um, Iron Head would have sufficed instead of being so greedy. Mm. Let me Shadow Claw here. Okay, it's just gonna flame drive. I could have gone for the Sucker Punch, obviously, but like, it's so obvious on this thing. Everybody knows how B Sharp operates, so. Flamethrower. Will Ditto do? Hmm. Having Stealth Rock up would definitely help. Acrobatics. I mean, CC is neutral. And I, I, I think I'll just... If I go for Drain Punch... Is he gonna go into... Hmm. I wonder. I'm gonna just go for acrobatics. And that's enough to knock him out. Okay, that thing is not bulky at all. I still have my item. So, that did nothing. I mean, it did everything. <laughs> what am I saying? It did everything. Despite, like, still having my item. This is like 55 base power. And with like 92 attack. Should I just go directly into Sandy Shock? I, I should. It's gonna set up rocks or something. Willow Wisp. Okay, that's fine. But I got a uh, special attack boost again. And now, the Scream Tail is gone. And I can go for Earth Power. 
But he's got the flower main. Which probably has... Uh, okay. Are you scarfed? 328. 31. I'm gonna be faster regardless. There we go. He was probably scarfed, but I'm naturally faster, so... There we go. Knock him out. In comes the Roaring Moon. It's Dragon and Dark. Well, I have Ditto in the back, so... It doesn't really matter. I got a special, special attack boost here. I'm gonna be... If this thing gets a speed boost, I'm gonna be slower anyway, so... I might as well use this opportunity while I got a special attack boost here. And he goes for Dragon Claw. Okay. Hmm... 370. Hmm. I think I should transform into... I'm going to hold Lucha. I mean, I don't think it really matters at this point. What I do. But I can waste his sun turn, so... Oh, wait. I can't. Well, I, I, technically I can. I, I... No, there's three more turns, so I obviously cannot. Uh, that was a waste. I could have still paralyzed the Flutter main. So... Yeah, let's just go for the uh, acrobatics here. Do some damage. I think I can take a Dragon Claw. Probably an Iron Head. Yeah, that was a waste, because if he happens to be, like, Scarfed, then that's bad. And this is... <laughs> this is happening! What is happening? There we go. Trailblaze. There's still one more turn of sun, so he's gonna get a speed boost, right? Right? No, he gets a special attack boost, so I can actually kind of do something. I can go for Trailblaze. No, I cannot. What? My speed rose, but he's still... F oh, is he scarfed? Is this gonna be a speed tie? <laughs> A speed tie again. Oh, I can terrestrialize. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh dear. But okay, he's not. He's just not scarf. How was the? How was the speed interaction there? His mouse hold is relatively fast. I don't get it. I don't know. And now he's gonna transform into a fairy. Okay. Okay. I forgot about terror crystallization. Me too. And then uh, there probably would have been some sort of opportunity earlier to use it, but that was definitely a. <laughs> that was a fun. I, I'm still. I gotta learn, like, all the speed tiers of all the Pokémon, because, like, I got plus one speed, but I still wasn't faster than... I don't get it. I don't get it. Ah, but that's why I'm playing. I'm playing to learn. There's so many new Pokémon, Paradox Pokémon, new abilities. So, yeah. What should I lead with? Is it gonna be... So far, I've been going with the um, Sandy Shocks, so might as well. Is he going to go into the Great Tusk? 295. He should fear me. I'm an Earth Power predicting the Dawn Fan. But he goes for Wave Crash. Just stays in. And has a Moxie boost. Let's go into Ditto. Ooh. This is going to be fun. Um, Wave Crash is going to take some recoil. Uh, what 
is the best move I can lock myself into. Ooh, I can increase my speed even more. I wonder if I can knock out a Muse Karada with a wave crash. I think I can. Let's go for it. I get a Moxie boost. <laughs> a Choice Scarf did so with a Moxie boost. 120 base power plus two. This thing can't be that bulky. It might live with like 10%, 20. Oh, 2%. 2% There we go, having Stealth Rock up would definitely help It's 2 for 2 though What should I bring out? Is he gonna bring out the Great Tusk? Let's go with Grimmsnarl here And he's got his uh, Quark Drive He's Fairy and Fighting I could just T-Wave first Let's do it there we go. As he sword stances. Oh, I wish I had Ditto. <laughs> uh, but I could Spirit Break to do some damage. I suppose. And then I could... I mean, I can't really parting shot into anything. There we go. Hmm. So he's still faster than me, though. Probably gonna go for a fairy type move. Whatever that may be. Hmm. How do I revenge kill him? I, I want a parting shot, but like, I, I really can't. Hmm. I think I just have to go into. I like you going to mouse hold. I think Holucha is going to be my choice. Just acrobatics from this range. I don't know how much defense that thing has, but I think I could probably knock him out. So, yeah. This is definitely a bad spot to be in. Yeah, like, I cannot copy his defense boost. Hmm. I think I'll just, uh... <laughs> that was a crit. Well, at least I get something out of it. Oh! 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 Oh, look at that. Look at that. There we go. I get an attack boost. And now I'm going to use acrobatics. There we go. <laughs> 432. <laughs> oh, it's something. It's something. Oh, dear. At least it's not resto chesto. If I, if I just get one critical hit here. One more, that is. We're in business. Or maybe it's just a super high roll. I don't know if it's possible. But he can't really do anything. Like he can rest again, so like that's 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 okay. He goes for body press and that's enough. That is enough. I think I have to go into mouse hold here. Yeah, just trail blaze. Knock him out. But the Skeledurge... I don't know how, how do I beat it. I mean, I can transform into a ghost. I can go for a Thief for a little bit of damage. But he can burn me. Yeah. 46. That is pretty good damage. Thief again. Hmm. Glimora. He does not go down, goes for the torch song. I can go into King Gambit. 
I think I have to terrestrialize. I would really like to keep my steel typing against that thing, but he's at plus two. And there's there's mind games between him going for slack off and uh, yeah, him going for slack off or then is he going to attack me? If he attacks me at plus two, I think I might just go down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I, I can't take that. I can't take that for sure, even if I change my typing. All right, we have time for uh, one more uh, match. Let's see. Cyclizer, shenanigans, Sandy Shocks, let's go. Espeon. Well, cannot set up Stealth Rock, that's for sure. Are there any... There is a ground type. Hmm. But again, spamming ground is pretty free. I mean, there's the chance of the Brood Bonet coming in. I'm out of power. 55, yeah. 2 hit KO on the Espeon. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. He should go into it, but he doesn't. Okay. The special uh, defense drop definitely paid off here. Now he goes into it. Gets an attack boost. Hmm. King Gambit. Pretty good switching, I think. Wow. He does a lot with that attack boost. For sure. What if I... That's SD. Close combat. Now, <laughs> this, <laughs> this, this finally would have been the opportunity to be all cool and like terrestrialize into a ghost. But I did not know this thing gets close combat. I had no idea. Now I do. Um, okay, because you have close combat, let's go into ditto. Unfortunately, I don't get that atta the uh, attack boost, but man, that does a lot. I can CC, knock him out, there we go. Okay, that's good. Uh, that is good. Now I definitely have to switch out. Facade, hmm. Sucker Punch and Seed Bomb. Really interesting move sets. Is this thing... I mean, definitely looks like a physical attacker. Um, is he gonna go for a fire type move? I don't. Again, King Gambit is my, like my best physical defensive Pokemon. Bitter play a blade, a blade. It's relatively fast. I could Thunder Wave. Hmm. He is life orbed. Peter played. Is that a fire type move? I think it is. I'm a thunder wave. I don't have any good switch ins. So I'm gonna just. Ooh, it drains energy. Okay, that is cool. I could go into. I mean, Sandy Shocks, again. Proving to be a really solid Pokemon at this point. He has Shadow Sneak, okay. This thing has a pretty cool moveset. Gotta say. I wonder if it gets like a Drain Punch too. Do you live this? Or are you going to terrestrialize into a flying type? What? Earth Eater. I mean, I had I haven't even read about this ability. <laughs> That is cool. That is cool. <laughs> Did not know about that thing at all. Okay, let's go into Holucha. As he goes for Iron Head. It's a really smart move to switch up. Switch it up a little bit. If I Drain Punch, 
I should be able to recover some health. And he transformed into... He has no weaknesses! He has Earth Eater and now he's Electric type. Wow! If I transform into him, I cannot go for Earth Power, obviously. I mean Earthquake. Terror Blast, Electric, Iron Head. Um, is Terror Blast going to take me out? Okay, this is really cool. This this definitely takes advantage of the terrestrializing. How I, I, I failed to do today. Um, I think I just have to have to go straight for the population bomb. Hopefully I, I get enough hits. Oh no. Oh, he has the wrong nature. He has the wrong nature. He gets confused and he hits himself. Wow. That is your own mistake. Um, I think I can probably knock him out from this range with the... Uh, maybe I'll just... Yeah, let's just go for the Grail Blaze. There we go. Knock him out. Get a little bit of his speed going. Psych Lizard. Can't be the bulkiest thing. Really fast though, so I'm glad that I got a speed boost out of that. So let's go for the... Uh, Population bomb. 25. Ooh. Nice. One more. Again with the aqua berry. Oh! <laughs> and every single time I have a chance for a critical hit. Um, can I just trail blaze or just go for a... Hey, let's, let's go for the... <laughs> Can't get too greedy. Headlong rush. So that's the ground type... Uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the ground type close combat that was introduced in the Pokemon Legends Arceus, if I am not mistaken. And that, that will be the game. Wow, that, what was it? Orf Worm? That, I have to say, that is, a uh, that is really cool. That is really cool. This is what I'm... Like I've been thinking about in theory morning when the terrestrialization thing was introduced, like, okay, so every Pokemon can basically transform into any type, and they on top of that they get a new stab move out of it, potentially, or they can increase their old old stab moves from 1.5 times to 2.0. Uh, it's just two. But the thing with the terrestrialization is is that like any Pokemon can be any type, they can have basically any move. So like, how do you how do you predict in a meta game like that? This was definitely my mistake with the Earth Eater. I, I did not know. Even if I had read Earth Eater, I would not have known. Like it literally eats Earth and Earthquakes and Earth Powers, but that's what it does. That's a really that's a really cool ability for a steel type, definitely. And then he transformed into an electric type, and you're basically immune to everything unless you you go against like a mold breaker. So that that was a really cool use of uh, the terrestrialization thing. But I mean, uh, overall, it's not as strong as something like Dynamax. You don't double your HP and gain all these overpowered move, so there is that, but just the thing of, like, turning into any type, that can definitely turn games. Uh, so far it seems fun, but we'll see if it's gonna be uh, broken or banned or anything on Showdown, on singles. So far, haven't been, haven't found it too troublesome, but just really cool and just something that you have to get uh, used to. So, anyways, I'm rambling at this point. Leave your thoughts about the Terra types and crystals and everything, and I will see you whenever. Thank you so much for watching this spade, rambling, and signing out. Peace.